taper built between the next unit, and that aggregate woven through those courses is gonna give you what's called void fill interlock. So you have the sheer strength of block-to-block -block contact, you have the independent mechanical device, you have the core fill, the aggregate woven through those cavities, and then you have the pattern. Okay, this is structural wall, no glue. There's, ne there's never a time that you would glue a structural thing wall together. It actually makes it weaker. Okay, so why do I have glue out here? So this is the glue I use, the XP from Alliance. This is the same wall in a double-sided application. Now, instead of going all big face out, I'm going thin face, big face, thin face, and tapers touching. So if I'm building something that needs to be aesthetically pleasing from both sides, I build this way, no core fill. I put a couple dabs of adhesive in. Don't go crazy. This isn't free. And this leads to efflorescence and mineral deposits and all kinds of things because it traps water between the block. But I glue it together in a little sitting wall because I got kids and they're gonna jump on it and they're gonna sit on it and they're gonna play around it. So I just put a little glue just for insurance, nobody gets hurt. Not all day long, okay? And then I'll set my next block and continue building my double-sided sitting walls. 